I went out to Barnaul, where the hospital is based, in October 2008 to do a concert. And uh, a staff from the hospital came along and uh, noticed that I had done previous charity work in, uh, in, in, in my bio or whatever it was. They asked me if I wanted to visit the hospital and help because they were in need of help. And I said, OK, sure, I'll go along. I uh, saw malnourished children and, and, and a, a very poorly built hospital, really. It's completely dilapidated. It uh, left a devastating impression on me because, you know, I was seeing kids that didn't have the right the right treatment or couldn't have the right treatment. They, they just didn't have the funds or the resources or anything to, to look after and do what they needed to do. Were these kids with particular illnesses or were these ordinary kids suffering from ordinary illnesses that they didn't have the basic equipment for? Both, both. Also, the, the building's got electric cables, you know, hanging all over the place and uh, you know, icons above kids' birds. It was quite quite sad. I was 17 at the time, so, you know, it was... Uh, I mean, it's a hospital, and it's a kids' hospital, so, you know, everyone wants to keep the mood up and happy, of course, but it, it just needs help, you know. It needs it needs to be supported. And I said, yeah, OK, so I will, I will try and do something. And I came back and I started a Facebook group, just, you know, what you would do just to get the, the message around and called it Siberian Appeal, and uh, very gradually it's grown since then. Was there a particular moment when you went and did that concert in Barnaul when you thought, goodness, I, I really have to do something to help this, this hospital? Yes. Um, I, 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 as soon as I walked in there, I said, well, you know, this place needs to be fixed. That's basically how I, how I did feel about it. And uh, Did you talk to the children there? I did. I, I've been there several times now, and... Uh, and I've been around the wards, I spoke to children, spoke to mums and dads and, and hospitals, uh, the hospital staff and uh, nurses and doctors. Of course, you know, just to get an understanding of what's going on. And, you know, I'm regularly in contact, you know, almost daily with a hospital. And, yeah. So what exactly does your charity do for the hospital in Barnaul? Right, well, we raise awareness and funds, basically. Um, and uh, with the funds, we purchase equipment. We purchase things and we send them as opposed to sending money. So basically we'd buy toys or we'd buy equipment or we'd buy beds, things like that. Since the charity is recently established, there's a lot to be done and it's a big task. And I, and I remember writing, I actually wrote to Mikhail Gorbachev about it. You know, I didn't expect to reply, but I got a response from the director of the Raisa Gorbachev Foundation, which is the, the charity Mikhail Sergeyevich started in memory of his wife, Raisa, who had leukemia and they help children in Moscow and Spitsberg with leukemia and cancer and because they're a charity in Russia that are helping kids it was very beneficial when the director said well let's have a meeting and so we had a meeting and uh, he said well you know actually no one's really doing anything out in Siberia it's uh, it's too far away. And how come you were in Barnaul in Siberia that's quite a way across Russia. Well, I had a friend from the Russian side, my mother's Russian, and uh, we've had musicians, you know, th throughout the family history. And one of them was a conductor, uh, one of our friends, and he was doing a concert in Barnaul, and he said, do you want to come and play? And I said, yeah, sure, I'll come and play, you know, uh, what was it, the Rapstein Blue. And uh, had great fun, great orchestra, great people. And so that's basically how I got out there. And you still tour Russia quite a lot, don't you? I do. I go quite uh, often. Um, and I've not only Moscow and Speedsburg, but uh, I get invited to out-of-town places like uh, Bryansk and uh, Omsk. And uh, it was just recently in Kursk and Zhilisnogorsk. So I've seen what many people would say real Russia is. I uh, will be going to Moscow to play in the Kremlin in April. Wow, what are you going to play in April? I'm going to do the Goldberg Variations um, and uh, the Rapstein Blue by Gershwin, among other things. It's fantastic. Now, you've been to lots of Russian cities then. It does strike me that there are hospitals and orphanages and so on in, in lots of Russian towns and cities. Why did it happen for you in Barnaul that you, you chose the hospital there? There must be lots of good causes you come across in your travels. Well, you know, I think the better question would be why not? Because I, I saw it and I said, well, you know, I'm just going to help it. And if I see another if I see another hospital, that's I know that there's it's not in a good state at all. But, you know, we've all got to do we've all got to start somewhere or do something. And, you know, I would love to I would love to be able to extend this operation towards all hospitals. But, you know, I mean, this is uh, 
it's it's a dream but you know to get there it's it's a i mean just to start off with what what you know and i did with siberian appeal was incredibly difficult and it still is very difficult because it's not a place where charities are established to be honest now you've traveled around russia quite a lot as you say what what's your impression of russia oh well it's, a, it's such an amazing place the, the impression it gives me first of all as a musician and uh, being half Russian myself, the, the culture is a huge part of it. That's uh, been part of my life, really, you know, the music side of it and the Rachmaninoff mm. and all the, the composers. You know, the, the soul of, of Russian art, I think I understand quite well and uh, feel that. And uh, it's always amplified when I go to, 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 to places like, uh, not Moscow and Spitsburg, but deeper into Russia. You get to know the people and, and you know, there's a, there's a real Russian spirit there. You know, the one wonderful, wonderfully um, open and uh, beautiful soul. The people have uh, a beautiful spirit out there. The, the country is just stunning as well. I mean, Siberia, Barnaul is near the Altai mountain range, and it's a huge mountain range, which is basically untouched, and it's just a stunning area. So Russia has always left me with uh, several impressions, one of beauty, one of, uh, one of soul, one of uh, diversity as well. Finally, could you tell me about your concert on Friday? Yes, it's uh, Cadogan Hall. It's uh, 7.30 uh, p.m. and it's going to be several things, several interesting things. I'll be playing the Goldberg Variations by Bach. I'll be playing Rhapsody in Blue by George Gershwin. Liszt's Hungarian Rhapsody, number two. And uh, possibly some other things, some other surprises. And secondly, it's the, going to be the world premiere of a state-of-the-art piano. It's called the Steingraber Phoenix. It is uh, a piano that embodies the latest and greatest in technical innovation in pianos, and it is uh, a stunning instrument. Thirdly, of course, it's for the charity, and uh, we need as many people to come along and support Siberian Appeal. We need to have a Russian fan base, I suppose you could say, because it is the Russians who I, I would love to come along to the concert and uh, get involved with uh, Siberian Appeal and to raise awareness and funds for it. Why don't you tell me, Oliver, how listeners can follow the Siberian Appeal online? Well, you can head over to www.siberianappeal.com and uh, find out about what's going on there. And you can follow us on Twitter and YouTube. And we've got a new Facebook page, so please like that. Also, we have a petition, which uh, you can sign via our website. That's it, really. Well, that's wonderful. I look forward to the concert. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. And now we're going to finish with Oliver playing the Goldberg Variations. <laughs> 